today is Mother's Day, so this week is going to be all about the highs and lows of motherhood. So first stop this Mother's Day, we've come to Meadow Hall for their new climbing experience, Rock Up. I've just been to the gym for Zumba um, and barbell conditioning and now it's nails time, so I'm proper treating myself at the start of this week as I'm child free. We just had a delicious meal at Las Iguanas. Um, it was huge, all the tapas, it was so tasty and they had a great kids menu too. So I've done the school run after lots of tantrums um, but we made it home so there's an achievement sometimes as a mum you need these little achievements as a parent um, such as just getting the kids home tonight we're actually out and as we're out with our fellow directors we're actually properly chilling out so we've been to a cocktail bar as you can see um, and now we're having gorgeous modern Japanese food at the Victoria Leeds had a secret Reiki session this morning and um, so after doing the school and nursery run I ran home um, to be welcomed by Pri and her partner Mark from Beyond Healing and they came to my home to do a Reiki session. <laughs> So today is Mother's Day, so this week is going to be all about the highs and lows of motherhood. So I know a lot of people find Mother's Day very difficult, so sending lots of peace and love to them. Um, we are being active today, I'm lucky to have stopped at my mum's in Sheffield, and we've got a day of fun planned, so breakfast first. So that's my nanny and my sister. And say happy Mother's Day. She's in that. heaven. My mummy. Pepe. But Auntie Gemma isn't in heaven. No, Auntie Gemma's in New York, not heaven. Nanny's in heaven. Uh, uh, uh. Happy Mother's, Mother's Day! Day. <laughs> so first stop this Mother's Day, we've come to Meadow Hall for their new climbing experience, Rock Up. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting active this Mother's Day. I've also banned the girls from tantrums and paddies today, although we've not been successful yet. But we did get here almost on time, so you know, fingers crossed. Although they have got scraggy heads as so they won't let me brush their hair. Hashtag mum life. So we can't go climbing yet because we just spotted Jasmine's warm sandals. Yes, sandals for climbing so she's not allowed to climb and they need bobbles too. So we're going quick stop to Marks and Spencers to sort ourselves out before we get climbing. Now we spotted my other daughter doesn't have any boots, uh, any uh, socks on. Blooming neckers. So, bobbles, shoes, clothes, so, everything is bought. Let's hope we don't miss our climbing session now after all that. So another glorious part of motherhood is wiping kids' bums and also um, after birth having to go to the toilet all the time. So before we do the climbing, I need to nip to the loo again. Do you like unicorns? How old are you? Wow. Aren't you a big girl? Wow, well done, Jazz. He's a bit scared, aren't you? So this one's really good, one. Well done Jazz! So we're at Rock Up today here in Meadow Hall, the perfect way to spend Mother's Day, something unusual and um, you can do it with family, friends, siblings or just on your own. So much fun, so I'm going to go up now. This is like a challenge Annika common person style. Well done! You're doing brilliantly! Ah. 
Remembered better than me, Harry. Oh, yeah. Mom, you can do it. See what time we finish we'll here. Find you a present. I promise. Okay. I right, promise. let's look out for last iguanas. Who can see it first? Oh, it's over there. You can see it in the distance. Beautiful orchids. My name's Beautiful Orchid. How did you find Rock Up? Oh, well, I'm very proud of myself for going up those green pillars halfway, not to the top. Oh. That was it. Especially as I'm just getting better with it. Yeah. I went to the top. I know you, you did. You did. You were brilliant. And I did. And I did. How come the kids get fed first? Thank you. Uh, yeah, that's mine. Thank you. What do we do here today? Uh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Cheers. We've had lots of fun. We just had a delicious meal at Las Iguanas. Um, it was huge, all the tapas. It was so tasty. And they had a great kids menu too. Um, now we're at the Steel Men, the very famous Steel Men. Meet Me by the Steel Men is a book that I used to read as a kid. Um, Meadowhall brings back lots of memories of when I was growing up as we always used to come here for a treat day out. So it's nice to be able to do that with my children now. Um, and we were going to go to the shake lab for some dessert and shakes um, but we're going to hold that till next weekend um, as we're absolutely stuffed and we've got more mothers to see okay you give her that then what is it so i've got my mother's cousin's on the on so I don't look 31 on Wednesday 31 uh... Two, three, four. 
is made from gold, okay. apparently. Hello. From my sister, my big sister. Mommy. Wash and dry face, remove face mask, gently apply the mask on your face and Excuse press me. down. Dun, dun, dun. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on. Now, Ari's fed to sleep. Jasmine's still awake. <laughs> I guess it is an hour forward. Who put the clocks forward on Mother's Day? How mean. One less hour in bed. That makes all the difference. Anyway, I've got a blog to write up about Mother's Day today. And then I can go to sleep once my tablet's kicking. Monday morning and I can't get up because they're still feeding Jazz. Come on, time to get up. Oh, I'm so tired. We've got the gym this morning and school run first, haven't we? Happy Monday. I've just been to the gym for Zumba um, and barbell conditioning and now it's nails time so I'm proper treating myself at the start of this week as I'm child free. Child free, I just mean the kids are at school so I'm making the most of the time before it is my birthday. So just had my nails done with the lovely Victoria, talked about nails, mental health, everything. Um, so look at my lovely sparkles, ready for my birthday, perfect bit of self-care at retreat in Wakefield. My eyebrows threaded now. Why didn't you just walk Tell on the path day, rather sorry. than through a bush? So I've done the school run after lots of tantrums, um, but we made it home. So there's an achievement. Sometimes as a mum, you need these little achievements as a parent, um, such as just getting the kids home without a car or a buggy. And that was my big achievement today. And also taking time for self-care because I can't stop showing everyone my nails because I love them and they glisten in the light. And having my eyebrows threaded um, and I don't know what you think of my new top the girls bought me and um, so I have to wear it apparently they're saying I have to wear it every day it's not normally my cup of tea um, but I do quite like it I, lo I love the colour I just don't know if I look a bit too mumsy and um, I have a bit of an issue looking like a mumsy mom and um, but hey ho it's suitable for breastfeeding as it's got that bit there so I can whap I think they're fighting I bet go but anyway I've had a quite a good day. Nails was definitely the highlight. Um, now to attend to kids. I'm hoping I'll play fighting in the background. See you in a bit. Harry's bumped to her head. You okay? Have you had your after school snack? We all need after school snacks, don't we? So we don't get ratty. Tell me not what dad me one. What? Tell me dad me one. Jasmine gave you one yeah. snack. Oh, well, that's good. Or did she just give you the snack that I'd made? No, but what she found. What she found? Oh. In the lounge. In the lounge. <sighs> right, are you going to go back and play? I want some more mama milk. Some more mama yeah, milk. I am. Is that your after school snack? Finally dropped all the kids off at school and um, we're still an hour behind this week as the clocks went back so I'm feeling super duper tired as I'm always rushing but somehow miraculously I got them to school on time today and um, it's always like a last run um, for the register where you're like please please don't say we're late please please even though we are late let's hope they don't close the door um so i'm feeling relieved um and also i took my friend's daughter to nursery um and it's really nice with my friend because we take it on in turns with the kids well not even in turns we just help each other out whenever we can um, and I love that saying that um, that you need a mum village so it takes a village to raise a child. 
night out in Leeds on a school night. Guys, I've uh, made a really nice uh, monkey shoulder also makes really nice. I don't know what a Japanese is. So it looks really dark, but I'm at Isho in Leeds as I'm very lucky. It's not normally this luxurious on a Tuesday night, um, but as it's my birthday tomorrow, um, and also we're having a semi-business meeting, well, a business celebration as we've won Cafe of the Year for our Hepworth Cafe. Woo-hoo! Um, but also I'm very lucky on a Tuesday as the in-laws have the kids um, overnight. So it's my one night to chill. We did used to try and make it date night, but that's quickly fizzled. Um, but we will try and do it again. Normally we just end up having a takeaway and working really late. Um, but tonight we're actually out and as we're out with our fellow directors, we're actually properly chilling out. So we've been to a cocktail bar, as you can see, um, and now we're having gorgeous modern Japanese food at the Victoria Leeds. <laughs> Oh wow, I'm gonna have to get a photo. I had a secret Reiki session this morning and um, so after doing the school and nursery run I ran home um, to be welcomed by Pri and her partner Mark from Beyond Healing and they came to my home to do a Reiki session. Now I was a bit nervous because my home's always a mess and it doesn't feel very pure or very uh, healing like um but they were so lovely um and just so down to earth and i don't know if you've heard of reiki or if you tried reiki let me know if you know anything about reiki um but i was really really skeptical in the past um and when i was a teenager my dad got his friend um to do some reiki on me because she was a reiki practitioner and it was during a really traumatic period in my life. So I'm not at all, well, I am turning into a bit of a hippie, but I wasn't at all, definitely more of a chav. Um, so I was super skeptical about it. Um, and I remember she lay me there and she touched my head. And then I thought she was holding on to my head and different parts of my body. Um, but she actually just had her hand hovering over me and at the time my head felt so warm and so hot and I was like there's no way I was in such a traumatic period of my life I thought there's no way that I'll be able to relax and somehow I did um, and then after a few sessions and she gave me like a stone to put out in the garden um, and crystals and stuff so the stone was supposed to be like an anchoring thing um, to help me um, and it massively changed my life at the time um, hi Rebecca watching um, and I really found it really anchoring and even though um, I was going through a really traumatic period it was the only thing that helped me to switch off um, so Reiki, um, it's not massage per se, it's a complementary therapy um, and basically sometimes it's touching different parts of your body and um, sometimes it's holding it and you can feel the energy and the heat. Um, I'll be doing a longer vlog on it with Beyond Healing and they can explain better. Um, but I liked the way they described it, Pri and Mark, as like almost like when we're a child and something that's painful is like you rub it, you rub your knee, you rub a child's um, head if they bang their head. Um, so it's that kind of sensation. Um, and I had my session today at home. So I took a while to switch off because I was like, I was just thinking, oh my gosh, my house is gross. They're going to judge me. And they didn't at all. And then I was like, my my brain goes super, super fast. Um, and so it took me a while to actually switch off. But it was really nice just having somebody's hands on your head and like the energy healing. Um, so that's basically what it is, energy healing. Um, and then... Um, 
they I did initial session today with Mark um, and he like did all over my body um, and I could feel this really warm sensation down my left side and that's where I could start to feel pain so sometimes I think because we're so busy we don't always notice even pain in our bodies and I could really feel like in my hip as I've got belly dancer injuries from being a belly dancer for so many years but also being hyper flexible in my hips and um, so I in my hip I felt like real heat and I could feel it all the way down the side of my body and um, this kind of pain but also a tingling sensation but where um, Mark really said he felt it so he's the practitioner was in my head which makes a lot of sense as you know um, with having my acute polymorphic psychotic disorder is my diagnosis so my head is full of stuff um, some good some bad but it's very chaotic um, and he felt a lot of heat there and he also said in my heart um, there was like grief or heartbreak um, and yeah it was quite amazing so I, I, I had a quick session today um, but I did just manage to switch off during the end and it felt like a really warm relaxing sensation and I forgot that I was in my a dirty living room um, in the middle of the city um, and yeah I definitely really recommend it because it was just a really nice self-care session I'm gonna try and do it regularly as well um, because I'm one of those people if I'm doing self-care I need to be forced into an appointment of some sort but also apparently Reiki you need a few sessions um, and kind of consistently um, to start to kind of see the difference and feel the benefits and as I know from my childhood experience of Reiki um, it takes a few sessions for you really to start to feel the impact um, but I really loved it because I use so many drugs uh, legal drugs um, and to help my mental health and stuff um, and it, or even exercise but it's always vigorous stuff so I still was a bit kind of like well what will something so gentle do um, but it does something a lot deeper when it's um, so gentle and energy and it kind of helped me put things in perspective I don't know why um, but today when I'm like oh, I haven't got time to stop to do a Reiki session but because I'd booked it in I knew I had to and actually doing it um, I felt a lot better and especially being a busy parent um, anyone who's busy just having that time out really helps as well and um, so I definitely recommend trying Reiki might not be for everyone but I really have felt um, the benefits today um, and now I feel a lot more calm because I was I was feeling oh my gosh I've got just had a documentary go out last night on Channel 4 News I've got so many blogs to write, um, vlogs to send off to get edited, um, I've got emails to send and actually now I feel a lot more calmer even though I've got a production company coming around to my house later so we're doing a TV shoot on uh, breastfeeding so it's never a quiet house um, but I just feel a lot more anchored and a lot more calm which is really nice and unlike me. But I am going to have to go now because I'm doing a photo shoot at the Hepworth Cafe, our cafe, as we've got an Easter feast on. So I get to take lots of photos of Easter treats and hopefully try them just so I can tell you how amazing they are. Um, but anyway, I hope to see you all soon. Um, Rebecca says it sounds fascinating. Yeah, I will definitely let you know and keep you updated on my Reiki experience. Um, at some point I will be brave enough and ready to tell my story of how it really did help when I was um, a young teen um, and go into a bit more detail than just saying about trauma um, but it really did transform um, a period of my life and really changed things um, but I haven't got time to think whether I'm ready to share that yet um, but I will be doing soon um, as I've written a lot about it. Check this out. So you've got pork belly fritters, 
ham sandwiches, cheese sandwiches, egg sandwiches, hot squat, hot cross scones, Easter nests, chocolate cream egg brownie, carrot cake, sausage rolls, and scotch eggs. And a lovely Yorkshire fettle. So it's Yorkshire's version of feta sandwich. Not sandwich, what am I on about? Salad. I dropped you two monkeys off and now I've got to pick you both up. And you're going to come home and then I've got Channel 4 coming round. Talk about natural term weaning. Yeah. Oh, Chris. The Dyson man came and fixed his hoof. I've got a new head as well. Yeah, all for free. Yeah. Looks like brand new. Made me very excited. Because I'm boring these days. The little things in life excite you when you're a parent, like a new Dyson head for free on the Dyson five year guarantee, as it got super blocked up. And I got some other new parts as well. Um, although I've got a proper skanky filter that I do need to change as there's years of kids on it. Well, not actual kids, but, you know, dirt from kids. So I've just seen my face and I've just realised that I have been having an interview with Channel 4 like this. Well, partly like this, as Ariana decided to do my lipstick during the interview. So I look a bit like... Miranda sings um, and it's weird things now that you're a parent that you just become used to like lipstick across your face you get excited about the Dyson Hoover being fixed and you also get excited for things like the washing being outside so the weather's good enough for washing outside so this is my mum's life or parents life whatever you want it's the same parenting motherhood whatever i'd love to know what your experiences of parenting are um and this is my life in a week anyway please do i'll show you my washing because i'm very excited about this hold on but please do washing and fresh please do subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends if you want to use the hashtag parent life hashtag mum life see you all soon